The, the support group, the International Support Group for Lichen Planus is based on a self-help concept. Um, and uh, there's been quite a bit of research that's been conducted on self-help groups. And usually uh, the patient um, finds comfort in the fact that they are not alone. And since it's such a, uh, a small percentage of the world that develops lichen planus, they usually don't know anyone else who um, has lichen planus. So, uh, we are probably the first person that they have spoken to that can give them definitive information. Uh, there was a, a, a periodontist here, the chairman of the Department of Periodontics, uh, Dr. Bill Hurt, uh, who became very frustrated through the years in noticing that there were patients who uh, were having difficulty with unusual diseases and they were having difficulty finding even a diagnosis, and if one had the diagnosis, they were often told there's no way to treat it, you'll just have to live with it. Most of the time people contacting the um, international support group um, either have been diagnosed recently with lichen planus or it's a long-term process. They've had lichen planus for many years uh, and they're searching for answers. They've had um, flare-ups and they want uh, additional information. Lichen planus is a skin disease that sometimes occurs in the mouth. It's, it has some features of an autoimmune disease, but it's not a classic autoimmune disease. So we call it the skin disease, a mucocutaneous disease. Uh, but we don't know exactly what causes it most of the time. We do know that sometimes patients can uh, be allergic to medications that they take and that they can, that, that allergic reaction will pre present with lesions that are identical to um, lichen planus. Occasionally, if they're allergic to toothpaste, it can manifest as lichen planus. And, and at other times, if they're allergic to dental restorative materials, uh, it can occur, it can manifest as lichen planus. So, Chances are that all of it, somewhere along the line, that all of it represents an allergic reaction, uh, but unfortunately we haven't been able to find the, the allergen uh, that happens most of the time, that's involved most of the time. A lot of times you will um, either get emails from patients in the middle of the night, depending on what area of the world they're in, uh, wanting to know if they possibly may be infecting uh, a family member, uh, is it contagious? And um, it's usually uh, such a relief to realize that it is not contagious and that they can't give it to anyone else, uh, that it isn't spread that way. Lichen planus actually occurs in six different forms. Uh, and some of those are painful and some are not. Uh, anytime somebody has mouth pain, uh, they should have it evaluated. Um, and it might be lichen planus. Uh, but other times, uh, it'll, it, the lesion will not be painful and maybe they will just uh, observe that the tissue feels kind of rough to them or something like that when they rub the tongue across it. Uh, and those circumstances, usually the uh, clinical diagnosis is made by the dentist. Uh, the dentist is aware before the patient is that there's something unusual going on. And the problem is that even if it occurs in the mild painless form, it has the ability to make the transition into the other form, so um, it's important to establish the diagnosis. Sometimes um, a person can may have lichen planus uh, for a short period of time and it's cleared, uh, they don't have it again, and then other people maybe uh, suffers for you know 20 or 30 years, and it's intermittent, uh, you know, uh, it comes back, uh, for no rhyme or reason, and that often is very frustrating not only for the patient but for the person treating them. Uh, there is considerable evidence that sometimes an early cancer can have some of the clinical and histologic features uh, of lichen planus. And so the, the dilemma that pathologists face is, is which is it that they're dealing with. Uh, so the, the studies, uh, the reports in the literature, uh, describe uh, patients ha as having a slightly increased risk of developing uh, mouth cancer if they're diagnosed with, uh, with lichen planus. Uh, many of the uh, universities have uh, dental schools, so we try to get the person to a dental school with someone that we know is um, knowledgeable in lichen planus treatment. I do have, and, and when it's other countries, when the person lives in another country, we try to find a, a school there, try to find a practitioner. 
over the past um, eight years, nine years, we've been able to establish a really good list of uh, referrals, uh, people that we refer to. And I would dearly love to see the concept expanded uh, because we, we get patients from literally all over the world uh, who are having difficulty finding someone to treat them where they live.